What's up, everybody? This is A. Waltz from Psycho Studios bringing y'all a quick tutorial for Photoshop CS5. Now, what I'm going to be showing y'all today is how to use the lasso tool. And the lasso tool is used to cut an object out of a picture or, you know, uh, adjusting the colors of that object or just simply moving the object in a picture, you know, stuff like that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I found a picture of a stop sign, which is the easiest thing I figured to cut out in Photoshop. So I grabbed it, and I'm going to drag it to Photoshop. And I'm going to go ahead and show you all the lasso tool right here. Here's the lasso tool. And this is the freehand lasso tool is what I like to call it. You know, you could just look. I'm drawing whatever I want to select. And go ahead and select all of that that I selected. But... I don't like to use that tool because it's just difficult and you don't get precise cutting whenever you do that. But the magnetic lasso tool Let me go ahead and delete that. Yeah, okay. The magnetic lasso tool magnets onto certain points in the picture. You see how it found my white on around the stop sign? And you could create certain points that you want to create. I'm just simply clicking where I want it to stay. See, and it makes that line. But I don't like using that because sometimes it goes out of its way. And, and uh, see what it's doing right now? See that? I didn't want it to do that. And that's what it did anyway. So what I use is, is the polygonal lasso tool. Now, usually, I would, I would zoom in to get a really precise cut, but I'm not going to right now because it's not really that hard to cut out. I just go to point to point, and I'm going to just simply click whenever I want to change direction because it's all straight lines. See, it's, it, it'd be really difficult to if I were to uh, cut out a circle, you know, I mean... Me, personally, I use the magnetic lasso tool to cut out a circle or the top of somebody's head, you know, whatever. But, um, I, look, I already selected my stop sign. I'm going to duplicate this layer and say that I want to adjust the brightness and contrast of just the stop sign. Well, I have my stop sign selected, so, look, I can adjust the contrast of just the stop sign. Or I can turn my stop sign black and white, which is also a cool thing to do. Um, you can also delete the stop sign out the picture. Leaves the transparent layer under it. Or you could just take it and you could drag it to a different picture, which is what I'm about to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and select my move tool. And I'm going to go and bring it to my YouTube background right there now you can move it do whatever you want with it I usually use the lasso tool if I wanna you know make a cool little poster or, or whatever see I use the lasso tool to cut my psycho guy out and to cut our street sign out and put them onto our YouTube background that I was creating well I mean there's really nothing to use in a lasso tool there's also a magic wand tool that I'll get to in another tutorial. If you go to my channel, you can find that. Um, the link to the channel is in the description box, or you can just click the name. Please subscribe to our channel. That's trying to get some subscribers. Uh, we just made this channel, but there's going to be plenty more tutorials coming your way. Um, if you have any questions about how to do something in Photoshop, I will be more than happy to make a tutorial on how to do whatever. You know, it's fine for me to do. I love playing with Photoshop it's cool um also comment rate subscribe do what you gotta do let me know how I did on a tutorial I probably sound a bit nervous or whatever I don't know why I get like this but I'ma learn someday by doing all these tutorials hopefully I, I uh, get a little better at speaking but it's been fun thank you have a good day. 
See y'all later. Peace.